In this video, we'll introduce you to tkinter and guide you through creating your first GUI using Python. Whether you're just getting started with Python or looking to explore desktop app development, this will be a great first step. We'll also introduce you to a tool called PyUI Builder that can make learning and creating tkinter apps much easier. So let's start with the basics. What's a GUI and what is tkinter? GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. It's what allows users to interact with software using buttons, windows, icons, and other visual elements, instead of just typing commands in a terminal or console. For example, the calculator app on your computer is a GUI. Tkinter is Python's built-in library for creating GUI applications. It's lightweight, beginner-friendly, and perfect for building simple tools, quick prototypes, or even full-fledged desktop apps. And the best part? You don't need to install anything. Tkinter comes pre-installed with most Python distributions. Now let's jump into the code and create your first window. First, we'll create a simple window with a size of 300 by 200 and a title that says My First App. To do this, I'll start by writing import Tkinter as tk. Then to create the main window, I'll write root equals tk dot tk with brackets. Next, to set the title, I'll write root dot title with brackets and inside it, My First App. To set the size, I'll write root.geometry with brackets and inside it, 300 by 200. And finally, to keep the window open, I'll write root.mainloop with brackets. Here, root simply refers to the main application window. When we run this, a small window pops up with the title, My First App. That's our first GUI in action. The line tk.tk with brackets creates the main application window, and root.mainloop with brackets starts the event loop. It keeps the window open and waits for any actions like clicks or key presses. Let's now add a label and a button to the window. First, I'll write label equals tk.label in brackets. Inside, root comma text equals hello tkinter. To place the label on the window, I'll write label.place in brackets x equals 110, y equals 40. Now, to add a button, I'll write button equals tk.button in brackets. Root comma text equals click me. We'll also set a command using a lambda function. So I'll add command equals lambda colon label dot config with brackets text equals you click the button. And finally, to place the button, I'll write button dot place in brackets x equals 110, y equals 80. Here, we use label to display some text and button to let the user interact with the app. The place method tells tkinter to position the elements at the coordinates we give. And when the button is clicked, it updates the label's text. Now that you know the basics, we'll move on to important topics like layout managers, event handlers, and more. But to make things easier, we'll use a tool called PyUI Builder to help us build Python GUIs faster. I'll start by opening the desktop version of PyUI Builder. The first thing you'll notice is that the main window is already there by default. Now, if you click the Run button in the top right corner, you'll instantly see a live preview of your app. Since tkinter is an OS-dependent framework, the output might look slightly different across different operating systems. PyUI Builder provides single interface to develop for all OS. Next, let's open the Widgets tab from the sidebar and drag a label widget into the main window. If the widget can be dropped onto another, you'll see a green border. If it can't, you'll see a red border. This is how you know whether a widget is droppable or not. Now let's change the label's text, adjust the styling, and run the preview. And just like that, the design you created is now live. Everything you did in the design view is reflected in the real preview. Now, let's explore layouts in tkinter using PyUI Builder. This will make it easier to visualize exactly what's happening as you build. As we saw earlier, tkinter has something called the place method, which lets you position widgets at exact X and Y coordinates anywhere you like. While that might sound great, the problem is that this layout isn't responsive. If the user resizes the window, the widgets stay fixed and don't adapt, which can lead to a broken or awkward-looking interface. To solve this, Tkinter offers two other layout options called Pack and Grid. These are much better suited for creating flexible, responsive interfaces. Let's start with the Pack layout. The Pack layout is one of the simplest ways to arrange widgets. When you use Pack, you're telling Tkinter to automatically place the widget in the window, either at the top bottom, left, or right, and it will adjust its size based on the content or the space available. In PyUI Builder, pack is called flex. If you set the parent widget's layout to flex, you'll notice that the widget sticks to the top. We can change this behavior using the pack manager of the child widget. First, click on the child widget. Then, in the toolbar, go to pack manager. 
and you'll see several options for this layout, such as Fill X, Fill Y, Expand, Align Side, and Anchor. We also need handlers to define what should happen when an event is triggered. To do this, open PyUI Builder's code editor, type a simple print statement inside the click handler, and then link this handler to the mouse click event in the toolbar. And now, when we click on Run Preview, you'd notice that the print statement is being printed upon clicking the button. You have now learned most of what you need to get started with tkinter. You can use PyU Builder and explore more about tkinter and custom tk easily. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.